fading away. Hey guys, I really wanted to make a quick video about how I personally maximize any sort of trip or travel um, to yield the most business um, and personal development. So I'm gonna go through some very generic just traveling tips that I find valuable, as well as my journal routine and the structure in which I try to take my thoughts while I'm traveling, put them to work once I return home. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna rifle through a couple high level tips that I think are valuable while structuring a, a trip where you wanna get something more out of it, um, whether it's personal or business development. The first one is just make sure that you're contrasting your environment as much as possible, whether that be weather, culture, um, food, when you experience other things completely outside of your comfort zone, when you're able to you know, radically shift that, you can look at any other problem with that clear mind. The second one is to do the actual traveling part alone. I, I think that that downtime, a lot of us don't get it in our day-to-day -day lives, so it's a perfect opportunity to consume literature or listen to podcasts. And, and if you want to go on a trip with someone, I think that's great as well and you can explore together, but in terms of the actual travel, if you can do it, if you can do it alone, I think it is more valuable. The third one is to make sure you stay in multiple locations. The, be the best way I can describe this is think about your own town or your own city and the contrast between neighborhoods. So I think the more that you can add contrast into the locations you are while you're abroad, you're just going to multiply the value of that trip. And the last one kind of segues into in the main topic of this video, and that's to, at the beginning of the trip, try to define some sort of goal or, or mission statement of the trip. Now, the, the key here is not to get handcuffed by this mission statement that, you, that you've created, but just have some sort of guiding North Star early on before you even leave. Um, we'll really just enable you to start up right when you land, if not on the flight. I've traveled a lot over the last year, and this journaling practice has evolved, and this is just where it sits now. That's what I did on this trip, and I figured a lot of stuff out, and I think it was overall valuable now looking back on my last day here in Costa Rica. So I do all of my travel journal journaling in one book um, that I take on every trip that I go on to. Um, and like I said, I can when I look back at this, I can see what some of my older journaling practice looks like. I can see that evolution. The first thing that I do is outline a structure before I even start. Now that does, again, that does not mean you can't deviate from that structure. But like I said, structuring it before you go ensures that you have some sort of guiding North Star, some sort of reason for not always going and having fun and sitting down and really parsing your thoughts and ideas. The first one is that every day in the journal, I have very casual daily notes, um, usually in the morning and at night. Add your location, add the time, add how you're feeling when you're writing these things, and that can provide a lot more context when you're going back and reflecting on it. The second piece and the second page that, I'll, that I will you know, block off and outline is I have a page dedicated to writing down spark notes of conversations I had with people. So when I, whether it's when I get home for the night, whether it's I have the journal with me when I just finished a great conversation with someone, I write down the spark notes again so I can go back and reflect. The next thing that I do is I write down a list of questions about myself before I leave on the trip and then every day I'll answer one or two questions about myself like someone else is asking me. Some of the questions are super long form and some of them are, are one word, word answers like yes or no. I think that this is a super valuable practice because for me at least, I'm in such a different mindset when I'm traveling that the, the questions that I can answer about myself and the answers that I come up with are just radically different, um, which can radically, radically shift my mindset when I go back home. Okay, so what I do on my last day and what I've been doing um, all this morning is the reflection section of the journal. So I review everything that I wrote over the course of the trip and I pull out people. So I give each person their own page and I write things like how I met them, things I learned from them, things that I didn't like about them, things that I loved about them, um, the ways that were similar. I give them a full page and I try to fill that page as extensively as possible with ideas about them, ideas about my relationship with that person and, and maybe how it could have been better and things I'm, it, you just fill up the page and ideas will flow. This is a, is a really good way to look back, not only on like the moments, but the people that were involved in those moments. And then you can really define you know, who you want to surround yourself with. And then the last thing that I do is redefine that goal or mission statement that I noted at the top. And like I said, you don't want to be beholden to this and you don't want to be stuck. So at the end, what I ensure I do is I, I take that first mission statement and I might edit it or I might rewrite it completely. But I think that 
doing this last piece, one, it holds you accountable to see if it did you actually pull a value out of this trip or are you just fucking off and having fun on vacation? Redefine that mission statement and then try to, you know, just project whatever that new mission statement is that you've come up with into your everyday life back home. So that's about everything that I wanted to cover today in this quick video about travel. I think that travel is a super valuable tool, but I think the key word in that statement is that it is a tool and it can be utilized as such. If you can define and you can structure your vacation, your travel before you go, you can just get so much more out of every trip and every experience. So if you like videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below. And I would love to know any tips that you guys have along the lines of really getting the most out of every travel experience, personally, professionally, um, whatever you guys have to say. So thanks for watching this video, Pura Vida, and have a great day. Oh, <laughs>